Hey, what's up guys? This is the Lead King Russ Ward and as promised, what I'm going to show you in this video is how I'm using Go High Level to um, run my e-commerce business. Now, in full disclosure, I just got started in e-commerce. I hired an e-commerce coach to teach it to me and he did not have this you know implemented into his process he didn't really he didn't really teach this part because you know everybody does fulfillment a little bit differently so you know his, his way of fulfillment was using spreadsheets and you know zaps and stuff like that and i'm sure it works pretty well for people but i figured hey i have high level i might as well use it so i'm not going to tell you exactly what the product is because i just don't want it out there it's selling extremely well however i'm going to show you how i set this up to fulfill these orders and how the whole thing is automated and why it's working so well so what I'm going to start out with is I'm going to go over here to opportunities and this is my pipeline. And what you can do, you see, is I call it, um, I just call it my e-commerce orders pipeline. So when a new order is submitted, I have a zap, send it over to order submitted. Okay. They're also getting an automatic email that is an order confirmation. And then on the thank you page of the order submission, there's also a button to, um, to customize their order because in this particular case I'm doing a customized uh, product where they're gonna need to fill out a form to customize the product or else you know obviously I'm not gonna be able to fulfill their order so the order comes in and over here under campaigns they're going to get this order confirmation text and it's gonna say hey first name thank you so much for ordering from our store we'll get you started on your custom product and any order add-ons you purchased as soon as you complete your customization form if you need um, if you need the link for the form again, here it is. And then I put the link in there. Also, we've emailed receipts, check your spam folder, blah, blah, blah. So in three instances now, they've had been told to go to the customization form on the thank you page, on an email, and then they got a text message as well. Okay. So when they go to the customization, customization form, it's just going to take them to a, a simple form. And it looks like this full name, email, uh, color for your custom order and then any customization lettering that you ordered. Whenever that is completed, whenever they submit this particular form, an automation is made so it automatically kicks that order over to the um, customization form submitted field. And I just paused the video there for a moment because there, there was um, one of the stages in my pipeline was in the wrong spot. So now once they complete their order, they get a text message that lets them know, hey, your order's confirmed. Please complete your auto customization. When they do, it automatically kicks over to customization form submitted. Okay. Now, from here, this is where my supplier takes over. Okay. So my supplier has a login to high level. And when all these customization, customized products are completed, they're going into this column. My supplier knows to go in here knows to go into the to the lead, look at their contact info, look at their customizations, and then start completing that order. When they complete the order, they slide it over here to complete it. Now, every single one of these steps has a tag, and I'm gonna show you those tags in a second. Once she completes the order, she has a batch of them, she's ready to ship, she ships them out and moves them over to order shipped. Um, once they're shipped, then she's in line to be paid. The mistake I made at first was I was paying her up front as every single order came in. I had a, I had a zap going that was just boom, 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 paying, paying, paying. And, and I realized really quickly that I could get screwed doing that. So don't do that. I learned quickly to only pay once I have a confirmation number that the order was shipped. So now, you know, um, what's going to happen here is this is in the wrong spot. I'm going to move it over. It should be invoice sent. She's going to move it over to invoice sent and then um, she'll move it over to paid supplier. Okay, so let me show you what happens once we get over here. So if we go over here to campaigns, um, or we go down here to triggers, these are all the triggers, right? So this one here is alert supplier. This just lets the supplier know, hey, there's a new order in. They can turn that off because it can get quite annoying when a whole bunch of orders are coming in. Um, order being processed, once again, whenever it's moved over to the stage being processed, the tag is just added for being processed. And what I'm doing is I'm adding a tag for every stage so I can go up in here to, um, to contacts and I can use the smart list and I can see where every single one of these is in the stage. Completed, once again, we're just gonna add a tag that says completed. Customization complete. So what's gonna happen here is when they complete the customization form, we're going to send an email to me 
and it's going to let me know, hey, there's a customization completed, and then a text message, and then a text message to my supplier. So I have all this broken out here. It's also adding a tag, customization completed. I broke this all out because at first I was I wanted to micromanage the whole thing, and I wanted to show people, hey, this is, um, or show myself, hey, these, these orders are coming in. So when I saw my phone blowing up, boom, 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 customization's completed, cool, I knew it was working. So you can take those stages out if you want to. So when customization's completed, obviously it adds a tag and it moves it over to the next stage in the funnel. Uh, now here's a cool one. Um, first of all, the order confirmation. And then we also have delivered and these are all just adding tags and I need these tags to all be added so I can I can track these things properly right now we have this one called shipped and you can see that it whenever it's moved over physically to the ship column it says hey contact name your custom product is shipped should you should be arriving in three to five days so that auto text message goes out and then here's a really cool one post shipment text once the once we're we're the shipped stage is completed it starts the campaign post delivery text okay and then I want to show you what that looks like so we're gonna wait one day we're gonna wait five days because everything that we ship should be there within five days because we're shipping priority mail in the United States five days later we send them a text that says hey how do you like your custom product is everything perfectly to your liking if you're happy with your product would you please send us a picture of you holding enjoying using whatever and let us know what you like best about it the reason we're doing this, number one, is to make sure they are happy and not just brooding and might do a chargeback against us. And number two, what we want is we, we want them to send us a picture of them using our custom product so we can use it in our advertising, so we can put it in our funnel, so we can put it on our sales pages. Okay, so that happens automatically. So let me just walk you one more time through how this is working. Order submitted automatically comes in, tag added order submitted. Uh, as soon as they complete their customization form, automatically moved over to here, tag added for that and then it alerts me and it alerts my supplier hey a customization form has been submitted get to work once the supplier completes it she she moves it over to completed tag added once she adds it to order shipped uh, the order shipped text message automatically goes out then she moves it over to paid supplier I'm sorry she's gonna move it over to invoice sent actually let me just fix that right now so I fixed it so now after it ships she moved it over to orders invoice sent once I pay the invoice, she moves it over to paid supplier, and then it is up to me or whoever I designate to track when these things are delivered, and then we move them over to order delivered. However, again, once they move it over to order shipped, they get that text message, the, the client does, the customer, that their order has shipped, and then five days later, they get that other automatic text message asking them how they liked it, and also asking them if um, they would send us a picture. Now, the cool thing is, is we can do support right through high level. Uh, up in the conversations tab, we, we can let them know, or you can even put a text message in, hey, we, we'll do support for you in here, um, you know, from whatever hours to whatever hours. This makes it super easy because people have immediate access to whoever you're doing, um, you know, whoever's, whoever's doing your support for you. They don't have to wait for email and be frustrated and wonder if anybody's on the other end. And um, it's worked out really, really nice for us because sometimes people were submitting their order, they were completing their customizations, and then, um, you know, it was just kind of sitting there, right? So we were texting them, hey, you, you know, you need to submit your customizations or we can't get this out to you. And then we give them another chance. And if they didn't do it, we just refund them. So they didn't, you know, see a charge on their credit card and do a chargeback. So that's pretty much how this works, man. I, I understand this can probably be um, improved in the future. This can, you know, and, and it can be obviously edited for whatever you like. But if you just have Zapier send your, your orders right into here, boom, 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 boom. You can move it right through these stages. You can have these auto tags happening every stage along the way. Under your contacts, you can sort these with smart lists, and you can have your um, your for your order fulfiller having in here your supplier in here in a very structured way, so you can actually watch what they're doing. You can see in real time, you know what's going on here, and you can keep everybody accountable, and you can keep track of everything. So I'm gonna give you guys a link to the um, to the uh, snapshot for this. Jeez, I don't know. I'm like forgetful today, and. I'm going to put the link to the snapshot in the um, comments for this video. No charge for any of this. I just want to I just want to give you guys value in, in this video and in this snapshot. Uh, feel free to copy away and, uh, you know, change it, share it, whatever you like to do. Uh, I'd just appreciate if you give me some credit for it and say, hey, let Russ Ward, the lead king, made this. And, um, you know, if you like it, give me some feedback on it and just let me know if this helps. Have a great day, guys.